I yeah. had no idea. Yeah. And first of all, uh, the other things about me, it's uh, I'm slightly dyslexic. Mm -hmm. So when I'm looking at it, I, I almost have to be extra prepared for, than most people before I come on set. So obviously, this was the uh, uh, first day I arrived uh, in London, and all of a sudden, we're like, okay, we're gonna uh, do a screen test. Uh, though, I mean, we're gonna just uh, do the whole script. Oh. We'll see how that flows, you know, how that reads. We'll just record the whole thing. Wow, oh. Uh, so <laughs> it was quite, uh, quite a challenge for me uh, Working with a guy, in it, but I, I I I cherish every moment of it. I really enjoy the process, uh, and he's a dynamic person. Um, I'm very fond of uh, this director, and uh, I've known him all, over 20 years now. And when I first met him, I really uh, sort of like uh, uh, gravitate towards uh, you know wanting to work with him one day, and. Uh, uh, and then the phone call came in, and I was like, wow, yes, uh, Guy Ritchie, yes, King Arthur, oof, that's nice. Were you, uh, I mean, the, the story itself, King Arthur, was that yes. something, some, some people really gravitate toward, I know Charlie lobbied hard for the role, mm -hmm. and um, for an actor to be part of a, a, some, a King Arthur, because you've been part of a lot of fantastical movies, mm -hmm. historical movies, mm -hmm. and yeah, you know, this is yeah, this is this is one, and this is a historical one in a way that uh, it speaks uh, uh, to a lot of people mm -hmm. and to a lot of. Uh, uh, it speaks to minority. It's, um, it has a, sort of like a, a modern twist, a modern sort of like a, a, a tone to it. Um, it, this was a, quite an exciting uh, pictures to be uh, uh, to, to to make with Guy Ritchie. This was, uh, and truly, I mean, who would have known? I mean, again, looking at the finished product, I mean, uh, there were a lot of things that we shot that I did uh, not know where it belonged in the story. You know? Yeah, I can understand. That was quite intimidating. Uh, now, like I said, you've been in a lot of historical movies, fantastical, you know. Uh, are there some some genres that you, you still want to cover um, that you haven't, like a, I mean, like a full-on like comedy or, role, or, you know, something like that? Well, comedy would be nice, yeah. uh, you know, for, for to sort of like uh, top it up. Uh, comedy would be, would be nice, you know. Uh, again, it has to be with the best uh, comedic, uh, you know, uh, uh, it has to be with the best people, mm -hmm. you know, for you to sort of like, uh, uh, bring something very strong and powerful out, it has to be with the best people. So, um, comedy is fun, I just don't uh, know where that, where, where I, um, I belong in that sort of setting, you know, I'm not quite sure yet, but uh, again, it takes uh, a great visionary uh, director to, to uh, bring that out.